and welcome back to my channel Plain Not Jane. I am Plain Not Jane and you my friend have tuned into this week's Sabbath. This week's Sabbath is a video series highlighting lessons learned and observations made in my life over the last seven days. And this week's seven starts now. Number one, I absolutely hate rejection and the fear of rejection has it has really plagued me. It's kept me from trying a lot of things. And true enough, I do try stuff. There's a lot of times I'm willing to dive in head first, eyes wide shut. But there have been some times that I have not even tried things because I was afraid of being rejected for whatever reason. But I'm realizing that I just have to get over it. I know that I will never reach my potential if I continue to be afraid of rejection. I just have to trust his plan and dive in head first. Number two, I finally got a new phone. Now that I have it and I like it, I like my new phone, it'll probably take me about another month or so to get it just right. You know when you get a new phone, you've got to, you know, install and add all your apps get your logos and icons in the right places and you know set your notifications the way that you want them and that takes time and i don't have like two hours to sit down and do all that stuff so i just kind of have to fix stuff and rearrange stuff as needed but i am glad to have a new phone the one that my husband got me is waterproof so, if Young Mountain decides to take my phone for a swim again, I won't, you know, have to be really upset with him. I'll still be upset with him a little bit, but it won't be as tragic as the last time he took my phone for a swim. So, yay for a new phone. <laughs> Number three. So, each day I try to incorporate some type of music into our day. And I actually found this kids album a couple of months ago and rediscovered it in the last week if you did not know Andre 3000 has a children's album it's called class 3000 music volume one if music were a cupcake this album would be it it's magical it is um it is like it's under 3000 so you know that it's not your in the pocket run of the mill type of music and it's not really a hip-hop or a rap album that's what makes it so special and so cool is that it's him doing what he does basically i love the album my husband loves the album the kids love the album so if you grew up being an Andre 2000, now 3000 fan, this album, Class of 3000, is a really cool way to introduce him to your children. Number four, I'm still going good with my workouts. I can smell that cricket maker. Number five, some folks just cannot watch TV in silence. There are some people that they're watching TV and they're going to talk to the TV and the characters on the TV show and keep up as much noise as the TV itself. And sometimes that's cool. Sometimes it's all right. But if the TV is just on and I'm actually trying to focus or think about something else, to have the additional dialogue is, <laughs> is nerve wracking. Just if you're one of those people that cannot watch TV in silence, just warn the rest of us. Let the rest of us know so that we can either put on headphones and earbuds or we can just leave the room. Number six, do it yourself does not equate to quick or easy. Now I love a good DIY and there aren't many things that I'm not crazy enough to try. However, in my DIY journey, I have learned that DIY doesn't always equate to easy. It doesn't always equate to quick. And in the beginning stages, it may not equate to inexpensive. 
you have to have tools and materials to really do good DIY work. When you're just starting, you don't have either. So you will have the expense of small investments in tools and materials until you get to the point that you do have the tools and materials to make a coffee table with the materials you have on hand. So yes, doing things yourself can be fulfilling, rewarding, and cost effective in the long run. But just keep in mind that it may take some trial and error and it may not go as fast as you would like. With that being said, and finally, number seven. I did my very first do-it-yourself crochet style. That's what I'm wearing right now. Because this was my first time, it actually was not very quick, but it was fairly easy. The hardest part was actually braiding my own hair down because my hair is short. You know, I got a haircut a couple months ago and I'm trying to let it grow out. And because it's short from a haircut, the ends are fairly blunt. Like, they don't taper. They're, you know, cut. So the ends are pretty blunt. And it's just hard to braid your own hair. And I cannot braid going up. I can like I can't cornrow going up the back of my head. So that was an adventure to figure out how to do that. But um, other than that, it was fairly easy. Um, and I think as time goes on, it'll get a lot quicker for me. But it was definitely worth the effort. And I feel really good about having another option as I'm letting my hair grow and I'm transitioning from a relaxer. So, yay. All right, that's been this week seven. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a good old thumbs up. And if you didn't, keep on going and don't come back. Also, make sure you click below to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this week's seven cooking videos, DIY projects, and good old family food. So until next time, Go where you're celebrating, not just tolerating. Be safe. Bye-bye. My heating unit just came on, so, I mean, it's cold. And for some reason, my husband won't start a fire in the fireplace. So, that's what you hear in the background today.